People now hate Mr. Beast for building wells in Africa. This is probably the most predictable drama ever. Every time Mr. Beast posts a new video doing something good, a bunch of idiots come out of the woodworks and seem to have a problem with it. Now, how could you possibly have a problem with building wells in Africa? Let me show you. So Mr. Beast just released this video, I built a hundred wells in Africa, in which he built a hundred wells in places like Kenya, Zimbabwe, Uganda, Cameroon and tons of different villages in general. He donated brand new computers to the kids. He gave them soccer balls, projectors, just tons of stuff that's really useful. And literally at the end of the video, he says that he didn't make a single dime of profit off this video. He's just trying to help people. And he even mentions how weird it is that a YouTuber has to do this and politicians and governments don't don't are, are not doing their job. This is the first of a hundred wells we're gonna build in this video. You just witnessed a small village in Kenya get access to unlimited clean drinking water in less than a second. One down, 99 more wells in Africa. Okay, now regardless of what you think of Mr. Beast, this is a selfless act, okay? This is an absolutely amazing thing to do. There is no debating this, okay? Now, who has a problem with Mr. Beast video? Well, apparently this uh, blogger from Ghana, uh, top 50 bloggers in Ghana 2023. This guy's name is Albert, and somehow he found something wrong with this video, playing critical attention to all the tiny details. He's seeing stuff that you small-minded individuals simply cannot see. Self-proclaimed critic, obviously. Albert Nat Hyde says, Mr. Beast 100 Wells is disrespect to Africans. He described the entire Africa as a village with its people living in huts. Well, if you actually took 10 minutes to watch the video. That is not what he did at all. I actually watched the video and he makes clear distinctions as to which places in Africa he's going. He named, he named all these places, Kenya, Cameroon, Zimbabwe, Uganda. He projected that all Africans lack good drinking water. No, no, he just said certain villages in Africa lack clean drinking water. In fact, the people there were extremely, extremely grateful for, for getting that clean drinking water. Wells in 2023 is offensive. Now, I know this reads like satire, but this dude is completely 100% real. You go on all his socials, dude actually, like he's an actual blogger, okay? Wells in 2023 is offensive, unbelievable. Why not boreholes or pipe born water, okay? Uh, I'm not too familiar with uh, all the terminologies here. I'm pretty sure Mr. Beast just bore a hole into the ground to reach, I mean, he describes in the video, he, do he bore a hole into the ground to dig below the contaminated stuff and reach the fresh groundwater. Isn't that boreholes or am I being dumb? I don't know. Africans do not need water donation. We ain't that poor and thirsty. Tell that to the people in the video, you absolute I imbecile. Oh my God. Dude, if you like in the video, the water, like literally the water, the, the school children were fetching, right? Were, were getting from the river was so contaminated. It wasn't even clear or anything. It was just like filled with mud and shit. And they had to keep drinking it. And that would give them a bunch of diseases like typhoid, right? Which is absolutely incredibly horrific. We've all read about this, you know, all the time in school or whatever. And it, this is, it's so amazing that a, a, a single individual can actually make a difference in the world. And all these goddamn billionaires and politicians and governments are just sitting there do on their ass doing nothing. And one guy with a bunch of money is somehow doing this shit out of the goodwill of his heart. Now, obviously he said he didn't make a single dime off the video. And that's probably why people aren't doing like, People are, will not do anything unless it's motivated by money. Africans do not need a water donation. That's the literal dumbest shit I've ever heard. Africa is a continent with 54 countries. He must be specific where he went. Did this guy, like, what the hell? Did this guy even watch the video? He specifically says, okay, I, I don't know if I'm going to play the part, but play the part, you know, where he specifically says where he went. And after we left Zimbabwe, we wanted to continue to give water to communities all across Africa. So we built more wells in Uganda, Somalia, and Cameroon. This is capitalism. We live in a capitalist society. You want to low-key use these countries for profit. Dude, how is he supposed to spread the message of goodwill and spread the message of helping others without putting it on YouTube, okay? And doing all the stuff, if he made not a single dime from it, he has to make it worthwhile somehow by posting it online. And, you know, he might encourage other billionaires or other extremely rich people to, you know, step up. He might even encourage the goddamn useless government to step up and uh, provide people with clean drinking water and just... uh 
a habitable environment to live in, you know? He has set Africans for global ridicule by building wells we never asked him for. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Well, you didn't ask for the wells, but some people were really happy to get it. It's just like, this is the blind thing all over again. I covered this one particular guy. He's like, well, I'm actually very happy being blind. I don't, I don't need my vision back. Like, speak for yourself, you absolute tool, okay? A bunch of people were extremely grateful that Mr. Beast helped them see again, okay? Now, I, I know he isn't God and gave, didn't give them back their vision, but he, he did accommodate them with the surgery or some sort of uh, glasses, so... You know, he's doing what he can, man. I don't, like, I don't understand how you could possibly hit Mr. Beast, okay? You know, he might have some opinions or whatever you disagree with, or he might have said something that you disagree with, but he, he literally, like, the amount of good this man does for the world is admirable, okay? Everybody looks up to Mr. Beast. Literally, all, all YouTubers, you see his comment section, it's filled with people like, oh my god, perpetual respect for this man, because he's doing what everybody dreams of doing okay and it's insane i don't know how you could possibly hate this guy now mr blogger here just keeps on going and he's actually linked clips from the video so i don't know if this tool has actually watched the video but it seems uh it's from another twitter user here so i think he's seen cut up clips rather than the actual video i highly encourage you to actually watch it because half of your criticism over here is literally moot if you analyze the videos below critically you will deduce that mr b sees himself as a messiah to africa who's solving a hundred year old problem which never existed in the first place well okay the problem 100 percent exists if you talk to the people there second thing is who cares who cares if he sees himself as a messiah? He's actually doing some good shit. Now, in, in the videos, the per the personality um, video, uh, Jimmy portrays to his audience is not that of a messiah. He's just like, he's just this guy. Like, how else is he supposed to convey that video in a way that he doesn't look like an obnoxious asshole? Like, he's just like, he built the 100 wells in Africa and he's like, hey... I built a hundred wells in Africa. What is it? What? Like he's, he's never like, I am above them. I have, I've completely changed their life forever and they should worship me and they should lick my feet and suck my toes. Like, that's not what he's saying. That's just something you have just deduced. Now, maybe behind the scenes, Jimmy is just like this egomaniac and he's just like, oh, well, everybody should worship me, but you don't know that. And even if he is, who the hell cares? The net good is still being done. All right, so he's just posted a clip here, and I, I was wondering what is this, but it's literally just Jimmy's video. And there's no commentary or anything. I just, I guess he's providing context or something, but he's just posted his video, and then he's told him to use promo code Bongo Ideas to double your winning. Is this a Huntham versus Chelsea? What a scumbag mother. Oh my god, dude. And then you've just posted this entire video. Join my Telegram channel for daily odds. Unbelievable. It's one of those scamming mother flippers, dude. This is a picture from the video. Watch and tell me if this is a well. Look at the thumbnail he used for his YouTube video. The description he gave. He even added that African kids drink rivers and streams, which is utterly false. This kind of project exists in every African village. Nothing to celebrate. He even added that African kids drink rivers and streams. Well, in the video, the people of the village literally said this is where they get their water from. And it was like a, a contaminated source, right? And then they showed the river as well, which was contaminated as well. I mean, unless they're hired actors, I don't understand what this criticism is. You're literally looking at facts and going like, well, no. Well, no, this just this problem just doesn't exist like and for some reason it seems like everybody is supporting him in the comments here Which is scary. There's some cult like following here. There was not a single well in this video Did he even watch the video look at his captions bruh? Those are shallow wells, which are not even drinkable. They got to be treated to remove acidic chemicals I'm seriously not impressed Africa does not need this or good He just said it is fresh water and all water needs to be treated you absolute moron you're right bro okay we got american here he should have been specific about the places another person who simply did not watch the video mr beast and the west continue to view africa as some far off place where we're living in a jungle and can't fend for ourselves the narrative must change now this isn't some dude sitting on his throne in america being like well uh, i'm having my crew build wells in africa he's literally in these places he's 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 interacting with the people this idiot, th watch the video, you like the- Your so-called rich men in your continent, what them do, imagine if they all do the same, I mean, just imagine. 
That does not mean Africa is one small village begging the West to come give us water, else we perish due to water starvation. We struggling, but we ain't that poor. Dude, what an imbecile. You cannot group Africa as one thing. Like, there's wealthy Africans, and then there's people who are not as well off. I, I imagine you're one of the wealthy ones if you don't give a shit about any of this, and you don't even care that other people are suffering here, and he's trying to help them. Tell your government to stop begging us for money. Let me tell you this. What Mr. Beast does is not philanthropy because he posted videos online, puts ads, in them and recoup whatever money is spent. Most of these projects are usually superficial and do not exist on the ground. Fight for your respect as an African, bro. I think you've lost all respect for the, from your African friends, bro. It's the classic case of are you allowed to do a good action in front of other people? Like, is doing an action, does all good deeds need to be done in private? Like, nobody can ever watch. Suppose, suppose somebody like secretly films Mr. Beast doing a good deed. Is it no longer a good deed? The way Mr. Beast operates, he needs to film it. He needs to film it for his business and to continue doing further good deeds, okay? He needs to put ads in them. He needs to put, post the videos online. And he, as he said, he's he's barely recouping the money he spent. He's literally, he, he can do tons of other video ideas, going on a $10 billion gold boat or something, world's biggest mansion or something, which he, he does a lot. Right. So he can stick to those ideas instead of actually helping people. But he actively chooses to help people. So I don't know, man. It's not really about the philanthropy because many Africans have done more than this. It's more about the projection he makes of Africa that we are one primitive village on Earth. Sad. This is sad, man. Just making a career off of this and you being a top 50 blogger in Ghana is absolutely sad. That's pretty much it. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.